Hey everybody, real quick, I just want to talk about Street Fighter 6's latest character, M. Bison. This character is looking incredible so far. In terms of being a top tier or not, of course it's still too early to tell, but I personally don't think he's gonna be that good. We'll have to see as time goes by. While we're here though, I just want to talk a bit about these combo trials and the crazy damage that he's capable of dealing. First thing we're shown in his combo trials is the high-low mix-up with his medium punch target combos. Forward heavy punch or down heavy kick follow-ups will allow you to do whichever one you're going for, and the overhead option will only combo on counter hit. The utility in this overhead option aside from it obviously being an overhead move is its juggling ability. We're shown in the trial beginner 7 that after wall splatting a character with drive impact we can juggle them with this target combo, giving us a ground bounce, and allowing us to hit the light version of the backhand combo and planting the opponent with a psycho mine. These mines are a huge piece of Bison's moveset this time around as you can combo into them in a variety of ways. Once the opponent is stuck with a mine, the pressure is yours, and if they happen to get hit while you've got a mine on them, we've got a couple combos we can opt into that for some extra damage. We've got confirms off of counter hit light scissor kick, confirms off of light buttons in general, an example of a mine combo from crouching medium kick drive rush, and of course a jump in combo that deals wicked damage. If you manage to land this combo in game, you're looking at a criminal 7180 damage reward, and that is just straight up bonkers to me. Honestly, I didn't think he'd be doing more damage than Akuma in his combo trials, but with the right setup, here we are. His toolset isn't as open and freely comboable as Akuma's, just to compare the latest two characters released as DLC, but it's quite capable of dealing wicked damage and just setting up for good Oki with mines attached to the opponent. I think Bison will end up being a very oppressive character, and honestly, I hope he ends up being really viable in tournament play as well. He's not the most flashy, but just wait a couple weeks and I'm sure people will have some ridiculous mix game with this character. Short and sweet, I'm gonna end the video here. Bison isn't the wildest character we've seen in Street Fighter 6, but I think his potential is huge, so keep an eye out for him. He might just shake up the world of Street Fighter 6 as we know it. If you want to see more videos from me, there are a few on screen, and I have more coming out every single Friday. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see them. As for now, my name is Milo, and I'm out.